dad sent me that text message, I immediately got a, a one-way ticket. And I just thought, man, I don't know what I would do or what life would be like if I didn't even get to say goodbye to him or tell him I love him again. And when I saw him in the hospital, I just, I thought, God, you know, how did I ever let this happen? And uh, I'm so thankful. Words can't even describe how thankful I am to have him. Cameron has a pretty devastating injury, despite a lot of uh, surgical care. Um, he has significant functional deficits, and even with the most advanced surgical technology, short of a face transplant, we probably couldn't, couldn't make him look or feel or function better. When I look at him, I look right in his eyes. Yeah. And he, and that's my son. That's what I see. Not that you don't notice, but I'm past the, this. We'll expect only the highest expectations from our team, but we'll be ready. We just need to make sure that everything is ready on this side. I ultimately feel that every person that walks this earth deserves a second chance. It was a very time in my life when we all do things that are not, you know, ideal, but we get through and hopefully with your help, we can get through this. We have an unusual surprise. Um, the mother of your donor, she's here to see the donor for the last time, and they just wanted to say hello to you. I don't know how you feel about that. You don't have to do this? No. You don't have to do this? They're very nice people. I just want to wish you well. This is Cameron. Welcome to New York. Thank God for you. I'm so happy. Are you mom? Yes. Hi, mom. Thank you. Thank you for letting my son live on. Make it happen. Right? You feel good? Surgical procedure lasted about 25 hours. Turn that around and, and look at yourself. What do you think of that nose? What do you think of the way your eyes are coming together? What do you think is uh, most impressive for you right now while you're looking and staring? That, right? You never thought that would come back. That's exactly right. It's hard to imagine, right, that that's even possible. Cameron stayed in the hospital for shy of 60 days. His recovery was much faster than we had expected. I feel good. Um, I like having a day here, you know, and it's good, it's good for all of us to be together. He's been given another chance to live again normally and integrate back into society and enjoy those things that normal people enjoy and define as living. It was great to see 
uh, the love and care from the family and friends, that he was not afraid to expose himself. He's far more open, far more jovial, far more interactive. And I suspect we're going to see much more of this. And that gives us confirmation that this operation and the risks that we all take are ultimately worth it because that one patient will go back to a normal life. And that one patient and his story will go throughout the world and other people that feel hopeless will have an opportunity to hopefully change the trajectory of their life. I'll tell you, it was very emotional today and you feel that there's some unity and, and, and I feel now for Cam and his family that they've inherited another family and for Willie's family as well for them to see that Willie continues to live in Cam and his families have now been bound by this remarkable gift.